Hi, this video is about the MAPS SEO Ninja training. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about me, my name is David Hood, uh, and why you should listen to me. I'm gonna talk about why MAPS, why have I done a, picked a MAPS focus for my SEO business, um, and what does a MAPS focus look like, and then what you get inside the course with this offer. So about me, uh, in 2012, I did quit my day job. Um, I was an engineer and obviously not happy and, I, and uh, I'm just, I never regret uh, quitting my job, even though for the first year or so it was, it was kind of rough. Uh, but basically since 2013, um, I would say that I could label my business as su su successful to a significant degree. So, uh, and I've been 100% focused on SEO and that was one of the things that uh, I think made a pretty big difference for me. Most of my revenue has come from and still does come from doing SEO for clients. I also do some lead generation and then I also make money from selling courses like this, teaching other people. Um, I've been uh, teaching other people how uh, what I've learned in my experiences um, and since about 2014 off and on. Uh, much more focused over the last couple of years. So why maps? Uh, I noticed the localization trends as Google was pushing their maps results into searchers' faces more frequently and more prominently over time. If you look at like how they did maps listings um, five years ago, maybe five to seven years ago, they uh, they didn't put the maps listings in nearly as many search results. Also, uh, they didn't they didn't take up, up as much space. You could see a lot of times when you did the search, you could actually see the first non maps organic listing, even if there was a maps listing. Um, at, at the top of the organic part of the search results. Now that's just not true. Um, if there's a map listing, you, you know, you can maybe just see the first one and you have to page down and then uh, to see the first non-maps organic listing. Um, and that's even then it's still kind of lower on the page. So uh, if, if you're doing SEO for a local business, um, the maps is absolutely critical. It's only gotten more critical over time. And I, I think that Google really likes uh, where they're at with, with maps. And part of the reason for that is that they make more money w when the maps listings take up more space. So Google is a business after all, and they're trying to make more money. And they do this uh, primarily because it keeps people on their platform for longer. So if you consider you know, them sending um, uh, a link to uh, like a Yelp listing, sending the people, the visitors to that location versus them going deeper into their kind of like maps um, platform. So which one do you think is better? They can't, they can't really sell them ads on, well, I guess it's possible, but they don't on um, the Yelp listings. But if they're on, if I'm in the maps listing still, like I click through to that, then I am still able to click on an ad of theirs so they can make more money. Not only that, but they get more data. And Google um, really loves data, and ultimately, this is part of how they're able to stay relevant and monetize their business is through data. And so they get both of those going in their favor, so why wouldn't they do this? Also, I think that they have gotten feedback from users on this. They they take a lot of data on, on um, part, part of the reason why sometimes you see uh, localized results in kind of strange searches that you wouldn't expect it is because they're testing it there and if users respond positively then they're going to keep doing that even if it kind of initially upon first inspection wouldn't make sense so they're highly incentivized from multiple angles to continue to continue this trend or at least not reverse it um i, I want to kind of mention sort of like what it it was like to be number one uh, way back in the day and what it is like to be number one now um and so it used to be First of all, the non the non maps organic was for a local business was much more important, and so you could say I'm number one uh, for Dallas Plumber, but that doesn't really mean very much now because well, are you number one in the maps? Because if you're not in the maps, then this is not nearly as valuable. I mean, we're talking ten times, a hundred times less valuable to be number one um, for Dallas Plumber uh, in the non maps today than it was five to ten years ago. When there was no maps or the maps wasn't nearly as uh, nearly as prominent versus now with a maps listing, uh, you uh, you know, you really want to be in the maps basically for local businesses, if you, especially if you like the example gave with like a plumber, every single search phrase that they really want to rank for is going to be a local search for where no matter what you do, even if you don't put in the city, it's going to give you Google is going to return highly, highly localized search results. Um, and to me, what this means is that the maps listing, the maps 
search results is basically the VIP line uh, for local businesses. There's way more. We're not talking a little bit more. We're not talking 20% more. We're talking five to 10 to more to 20 times more traffic. Okay. That is a lot more traffic um, because I think a lot of people just aren't going to the non maps listings. Um, and it just can reconfirms what Google likes. You know, these maps listings are far more engaging. So maps has become more important. Um, and I'm still, my business has, is, is still heavily focused on SEO, but I do a lot, a lot of my client SEO, just my, a lot of my SEO in general, um, a very large amount of probably something on the order of uh, 60 to 80% of it is local SEO. So I do a lot of local SEO. Um, and so a uh, a couple years ago, I decided to focus on Maps SEO. I identified that it was important to a lot of my clients. It was important in my lead generation stuff, and and it was something that uh, I felt like there was an opportunity to talk about. And there's not like a lot of good Maps SEO courses. There definitely are some good ones um, for sure, but there's just not like a lot of it. And so, and I could feel that it was changing, uh, and so I wanted to. And that a lot of people were still kind of using techniques for Maps SEO that worked five years ago. Some of them still work today or they're maybe just not quite as complete as they used to be. And some of them are just completely outdated. I'd... But I recognize this as an amplifier on my business um, that if I became better at Maps SEO, it would help with my clients and my lead gen and my attracting clients would help with everything. And so uh, I really went after it and tried, I, I made a lot of, I, I ran a lot of tests. I studied from a lot of different people um, and uh, I kind of, double check the trends every once in a while and it just the trends seem to keep pointing more and more towards this becoming more and more important for local businesses and i do have a lot of lead generation google my business pages that i use to test this stuff on so it's not just about like oh some guy who i trust said that you should do this therefore you should do this um and, you know i'm gonna test all of that um this the stuff i talk about in the course is the stuff that i actually do and i don't leave out uh I don't leave out any secret. There's not like a secret sauce that I'm keeping from you to to make my SEO better. Uh, so what do you get inside the course? Uh, there's six quick modules, and uh, there's going to be some screenshots. I should put a link somewhere below or above or or just directly below or above the, if this is on a sales page. Uh, you'll see screenshots of what these this looks like. Um, I'm going to show you a, a, a little, a few little ones here, but I don't want to do too many in this video because I'll I'm, I will probably be updating them over time. Um, this course isn't going to take you months or years to go through. You should be able to go through it pretty quickly. Um, there's about 20 training videos right now. I'll probably add a few more, um, over time and it's definitely as I update the course, but they're pretty quick and to the point about specific topics. Most of them are about five to 12 minutes long. I do have two shared checklists, SOPs, um, process documentation, standard operating procedures, whatever you want to call them. Um, for how I do Maps SEO, this is the what me and my team use, and um, I share them with the group. And there's a private uh, members-only Facebook group. Um, I did say there's no secret kept. So again, this is not me giving you my throwaway techniques and keeping the best for myself. I don't really think of, you know, why would I do this? You know, why? Uh, I don't really think of other people as being super competitive in terms of no one can really be me. So I'm not really thinking about in terms of competition, but also. Even if I were, you know, I kind of win either way. Let's say, you know, if if, if only like a, a hundred people buy this, that's not really going to make any difference in terms of my ability to rank. Maybe there's a couple pro random projects out there where I rank slightly worse than them, but I think that's unlikely. Um, I think I can execute very well, and so you know, I can compete well if I have to. But at the same time, if if I sell, a, uh, you know, 10,000 of these, well, then I sold 10,000 of these. And if other people are out there making money and, and ranking with what I do, then I get uh, testimonials and then it just reinforces um, I can make money in other ways. So I kind of feel like I win either way. But also, I just I do like if you're like, why is he doing this? I do like helping people. I do like sharing information. Um, Jim Rohn said, study, practice, teach. And that's kind of what I do. You know, I study, I practice it. And then when I have something to say about something, I try to help people. Um, and, you know, you can, you know, maybe this offers for you. Maybe it's not. If you ha do a lot of local client SEO, I think that there's a re really good chance that this, you're going to find this to be valuable unless you really are really already super, super good. Um, anyway, so what does it look like on the inside? It's a really small screenshot. Maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. Um, these are the different modules. 
Uh, and again, I'm not going to go into great detail with the screenshots here because there's going to be other places below or above or somewhere around that will have more uh, screenshots and they'll, they'll be up more up to date than this video. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to shoot me an email, david at digitaldominationdojo.com or reach out in the Facebook group or whatever you want to do. Um, you can leave a comment on this video as well. Um, like this video if you like the training or if you like the idea of Maps SEO. Um, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye now.